A lot of you developers and engineers that are following this channel to enhance their programming skills are probably not doing it just to get another job. Maybe you're somebody who wants to build a tech product that's going to scale to millions of users. And if you're in this bracket, then this video is right for you. And uh, I have created a small list of product ideas that are going to be multi-million dollar product ideas and they will scale to millions of users if you get the execution right. And uh, these are products that can be built using Golang. Now I have my own tech services company and I've built my own tech products and uh, I advise a lot of startups and these product ideas, they're kind of hot right now. People have a lot of interest in them and they're exploding. So this is why this list is going to be super relevant to you. So the first one that I want to talk about is a headless CMS. So headless CMSs are very, very in demand right now. Everybody wants to start their own website or a blog, which is easily maintainable. And not many people want to have a tightly coupled blog because they want to have a headless CMS wherein you get just an admin panel and then you get APIs and then you can build your own front end using, let's say Gatsby or Next.js or anything that you want. You can build your own uh, front end. Um, and so these headless CMSs are very popular right now. So you've probably already heard about Strapi. I use Strapi quite a bit on my own websites. It makes you know, building um, blogs and simple websites very, very easy, as in very, very easily and, uh, and very maintainable, basically. And uh, a lot of people that I know use Sanity. And if you, um, you watch a lot of YouTube videos, you probably know about Sanity. There's so much content about uh, out there. This is, again, a headless CMS. So Strapi and Sanity are both headless CMSs. They give you admin panels, but the website uh, is something that you can build on your own because they give you completely, uh, completely uh, well structured APIs, right? So Strapi and Sanity are two very big examples of headless CMS. But a good headless CMS does not exist in Golang. Um, there are a couple of uh, couple uh, out there, but um, they're not as popular as Strapi or Sanity, and that's why there's a huge space out there because um, Strapi has been with, made with Node.js and I think Sanity is also a Node.js uh, product. But with Golang, there's not uh, a, a product that's really big in this space. So I think this is a huge, huge um, space out there where there's a gap. Then you have your headless and multi-vendor e-commerce platforms. So um, back in 2019, uh, this new category of e-commerce started getting a lot of popularity. So Snipcart is the was one of the first companies that did it, and now a lot of companies are doing it. Uh, so this is headless e-commerce. What happens is that they give you an admin panel, and you build your own relationships and all of that, and you can build your own products. You can upload your products, and your and you can start seeing your orders. But you get a lot of APIs, and you get very structured APIs, and those APIs is what you can use to build your own front end that you want. And what they say is you can add a shopping cart to any website within a few minutes. Uh, and this product is amazing. I've used it a couple of times. And when if you uh, are uh, very regular on YouTube, you use it very often, you'll probably find a lot of videos around Snipcart. Now there are a lot of uh, companies that are doing it, but Snipcart was one of the few. And this again is a multi-million dollar product. So uh, keep this in mind. Um, Snipcart again is uh, built with, I think it's built with Node.js. There's still a lot of space. There's nothing, uh, nobody's doing it with Golang. So as you know that once a product comes up in a, in a particular language, like an open source product I'm talking about, like Strapi or Snare, I'm not sure if Snipcart is open source, but Strapi is definitely open source. So a product like Strapi comes out in a particular language like Node.js, then uh, a few years down the line, you see the same product being replicated in multiple different languages. So, uh, and that's because the, dev, let's say, a, a Node.js developer is very comfortable using Strapi. But a Golang developer is not very comfortable using Strapi because you don't want to deal with, deal with NPM or YARN and all of that, right? You want to deal with GoMod and you can easily extend the functionality if you're a Golang developer, just as you can extend the functionality of Strapi very easily if you're a Node.js developer. But that's why um, that's why I'm sharing these technologies with you because right now for Golang, these products are not very popular. Even if they exist, they're not very popular. And these are some spaces that you can dominate right now if you build something out here. The third is an Omni crawler. And this again um, exists uh, in the shape of a company called Octopars. Uh, so you can basically, uh, an Omni crawler is something that you can scrape or crawl any website with. So uh, these do pretty well because uh, you don't want to necessarily keep changing the code for every single new website, right? So you want like an Omni crawler. And this is what Octopars does. You can build your own Omni crawler. Uh, it's not it's not extremely difficult. Uh, maybe I'll create a course on how to build one. 
uh, using Golang. Uh, so you can build this and deploy it, and a lot of and you can get a lot of users wanting to scrape different types of websites. Uh, though the reason why people don't deploy their own crawlers and use Octoparse is because uh, they have IP rotation and they give you scheduled scraping, and it's a fully managed service. So this is why you don't want to, uh, people don't deploy their own um, uh, uh, crawlers because you need IP rotation, otherwise you keep getting blocked, right? Uh, but they have done it, uh, they have done quite an effective execution with IP rotation. So this is what I wanted to show you. So Omnicrawler is again a really great space. Uh, it's a multi-million dollar product if you build it. Uh, then comes the the really hot space, which is Slack, Discord, and Telegram bots. Anybody who's anybody is building Slack and Discord bots these days. And what better uh, Slack bot to build than a crypto info tracking bot? And you can see here, one is called amberdata.io. They're doing quite well, and a lot of people use it to get just conversion data and just to see uh, you know what's happening and uh, you know how are the different uh, tokens doing, uh, different uh, currencies doing. So so uh, just like uh, Amberdata.io, there are many, many, many uh, bots like that for Discord and Telegram. You can build your own uh, with some little bit of, um, uh, you know, uh, differentiation and you're good to go. I mean, these are quite high in demand. Then come your crypto trading bots. So humans make a lot of mistakes when uh, trading with crypto. This is why crypto trading bots are so popular these days. And Pionex is the one that's used by a lot of people. And... Uh, you can build a bot like this very easily with uh, Golang. Uh, the, building the bot is easy, but again, having uh, like programming it with those different uh, algorithms is uh, can take a while. And also um, the, the speed and uh, and the efficiency and also the accuracy with which, which these work, uh, they take a long time to basically build, but building a very simple trading bot is not a problem. So uh, this could be a space where you might uh, make a lot of money in the future. So you might want to uh, track this space. Then come NFT marketplaces. So OpenSea, as you know, is uh, the most popular NFT marketplace right now, but there are so many, so many more right now that are coming up. And Golang is a great way to uh, create an NFT marketplace. I mean, you build the main logic using Solidity, obviously, um, but the entire program, the project can be built with Golang as in having all those APIs and all of that. And the front end, front end could be anything like Next.js or React.js. So NFT marketplace is also a really good idea, but obviously you need to have a lot of differentiation here because like I said, there are thousands of NFT marketplaces already. So if you have a differentiation in terms of the type of art that you're selling, only then you can create a great NFT marketplace. So these are the six different multi-million dollar product ideas that I want to share with you. Now I'll just go over them again. Headless CMS like Strappy and Sanity. And then you want to have headless multi uh, multi e-commerce systems like um, Snapcart. Then you want to have Omni crawlers like uh, Octoparse is right now. Then Slack, Discord, and Telegram bots, but specifically for crypto like Amberdata.io. And then crypto trading bots like Pionex is very very popular. They're making millions of dollars easily because um, you're charging them holding fee. You're charging them a little bit of uh, you know subscription depending on what type of uh, bot you've purchased and, uh, and multiple bots also you can purchase here for multiple different purposes. Uh, so it's a very great, great business model, but obviously it's a little more technical and challenging uh, if you want to get the accuracy right and the, the better the algorithms, right? Then you have your NFT marketplaces. You can make a lot of money here only if you have a lot of uh, really good differentiation and you're selling some really good art. So that means it's critical to get the right sellers and right artists on board first. So this was my list and if you have any more ideas, you can put them in the comments below. I feel that if you build any of these products, you're going to make millions of dollars. Thanks a lot for watching and do subscribe to this channel in case you haven't already because uh, I come up with such awesome content. And if you're new to this channel, if you're new to Golang uh, by any chance, there are hundreds of uh, Golang uh, training videos on my channel and there are more than 40 different Golang real world projects that I've built. You can go to the playlists, check out those projects and build them with me, put them on your portfolio. You can easily get hired anywhere. All right. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.